Good morning from the White Mountains here in eastern Arizona. You're looking at Escadilla Mountain up there, which is one of the Arizona 2,000 foot prominence peaks. I'm parked a little ways down from the trailhead. I want to get 2,000 feet of elevation gain doing this. So I'm going to hike up the remainder of the road and then take the trail up to the summit. All right, so the Escadilla lookout is three miles from here. Yeah, this is the loop that Forest Road 8056 makes. So the trailhead should be up here pretty soon. Yeah, this hike should be pretty straightforward as long as I don't get attacked by a pack of ravenous wolves. I'm over 10,200 feet now, so it shouldn't be more than, I think, 700 feet to the summit. All right, I can see the trail continuing on ahead of me in the field over there. I'm out on the open road now. The sun isn't too high, it's still pretty early. I think it's about six. 15. I'm hoping to be at that lookout tower in about 20 minutes. All right, I've made my way to the lookout tower. It is not climbable. Okay, I have to get back down the trail a little bit to get to the true summit. I'm hoping there will be somewhat of a path. So I want to keep my eyes out for that if there is one. All right, the true summit is out there. I guess I'm going to have to just off trail. Um, there may be something a little further down, but I'm not going to take any time to go back down. Maybe I'll run into something. All right, I'm closing in on the true summit. And yes, this is what it's been like for the entire walk from the tower. Okay, here. This is a rock cairn right here, a rock pile. So I believe this is the true summit here and it looks like it is, it's the highest point. Cool. All right, just taking a look at the summit log here. The last entry was April 18th. Nice day, lots of logs. You got that right. All right, I'll try to get the 360 as best I can. I'm standing on the high point log up here. There's just a ton of down trees. It's really not that far. I mean, if it was just a nice forest, it would be a piece of cake and never hear from the lookout tower but it's a little aggravating but no big deal made it um i made it up in like an hour and 50 minutes from my car i think my car was 1.8 miles below the trailhead on the road i'm going to stay up here maybe just another five or ten minutes maybe a little bit longer just depending on how i feel and then i'll try to make it back down to the car within two hours I'm taking my time in this section i probably pushed it a little too fast up here i gotta be careful just one wrong move on a log could be it for an injury. So there's the lookout tower back there. And then going this way some higher mountains into New Mexico. And then over there is Mount Baldy, highest point in Eastern Arizona and the highest point in Arizona outside of the San Francisco peaks, north of Flagstaff. I guess if the fire had never hit here, there wouldn't be any views really. It would be completely forested. But yeah, it's just tough walking through all these trees for sure. Well, so far I've taken a much better line on the way back and I've actually found this little meadow right here. So this is nice. All right, I made it back to the trail here. Let me get a look back at the summit. Okay, for reference, there's the lookout tower there. The trail goes here and then it wraps just to the east of the lookout tower. And then the true summit of Escadilla Mountain is that one right there. I'm walking back through this meadow again. This is a pretty nice area. There are some pine trees just right on the side of the meadow that made it and then some more 
a little further up on the ridge over there. But otherwise, most of this top here was burnt, it looks like. I'm back at the trailhead, and this should be about 1.8 miles back. Well, there's a lookout tower out there, and then either the summit of Escadilla are pretty close to it for this point. All right, well that's it, Escadilla Mountain, another one of the Arizona 2,000 foot prominence peaks. Um, slowly working my way down the list. This is a beautiful area up here in the White Mountains of Eastern Arizona. I have to head back to the Valley of the Sun where it's probably gonna be at least 100 today, but no big deal. I'm used to it now. It's so nice that you can get such a variety in such a short distance from desert to alpine to everything in between. Thanks for watching, have a good day.